What is going on folks? Adam Dufrat here, back in the game again. Apparently today we've got a 24 inch curved MSI monitor. It's going to read right off the box at some of the major specs for you. So, like I say, it was curved. Uh, 75 hertz refresh rate, 1 millisecond response time. It's got free sync. It's got a game mode, uh, apparently where it makes a crosshair or some type of a naming, you know, thing. Reticle or whatever, bigger or somehow more, more focused. I don't really know what that is, but I suppose we'll find out. And NTSC 85%. It's pretty much the biggest things uh, about it on the box there, so let's have a look. See what's inside. Bunch of styrofoam, which is to be expected. Probably a good thing. By the way, if you didn't get it from the title, um, Optics G241VC. So, we've got a little instruction manual with a couple screws and maybe a beauty cover or some type of a trim plate or something like that. Uh, let's see, part of a stand by the look of it. Another part of a stand, by the look of it. 120 volts, at least where I'm from, uh, power cord. VGA, like anybody's going to use that. Uh, HDMI cable, nice for that to be included, so we'll see. I don't know if it's 1.4 or what the story is on that guy, but I figure it'd be capable enough for it to come with it. Although they did include a VGA cable, so who knows. Fragile. Alright, so... So, have a look at this bad boy. Alright, here we go. Looks like somebody's fingerprints on it uh, before I touched it, so that's interesting to say the least. It's where the stand obviously screws to, and then it's got a whole trim cover over where the ports are to keep the cables clean, so that's pretty cool too. Uh, Alright, I guess all I can do now is pretty much put the stand on, set it up, and uh, we'll see what we think about it. Okay, so we got the stand on there. It appears you just need a number two Phillips. There's a single screw that's set in there so it doesn't fall out. On the feet, you put one screw into this stand, and then there's just two number two Phillips screws that go into the back uh, into a bracket that's already on the monitor. So then, like I was saying with that little trim cover before, that's what appears to cover the screws. So, there's the screws there. There's like a little spot where this arm goes in. And once that's all done, you should be able to just clip that guy in there without snapping the arms off, ideally. And that just kind of cleans it up in the back. Now a couple things to note as uh, I was throwing the stand on here. No height adjustment in here, although this looks very much like it would uh, slide on here. It's just solidly mounted right through here with two screws. Um, and no VESA mounting, no wall mounts, no brackets, none of that. So be extremely careful of that depending on how you want to mount this. Um, if that was important to me, I would have done the 
proper research and not got shafted on that but anyway that's something to note and the very last thing if you can see it's got a tilt ability which is nice at least if you can't raise it you can tilt it there so that's pretty decent all right well I'll plug it in and see what I think all right folks MSI uh, curved monitor been using it for geez two three months almost something like that now uh, it's been it's been excellent mint product um, I found the response rate was really really good contrast you can tweak a fair bit of stuff uh, not crazy but I did quite a few setting changes from the default to kind of get it to where I wanted it and awesome so I could show you footage of on screen and, and whatnot but with the amount of uh, the light and the glare from the monitor and trying to get the curved monitor into you know the frame and everything it just kind of seems a little bit I don't know bumbly if you if you will and trying to film it um, and then you see certain pixelation depending on the reflection of light, blah, blah, blah. I'm not going to film uh, actual footage of the monitor in use, um, but honestly used it like about three months. Um, some just regular work stuff, you know, that kind of thing. White screen, spreadsheets, whatever, all the way into like rendering video type stuff or like a game or whatever. And across the whole board, I must say for the money, uh, super impressed with it. So just wanted to give you a quick update on that, and uh, Jesus, for the money, if you don't need uh, 4K or you know some crazy, crazy uh, features, it's excellent. So I definitely recommend it. Thanks very much. Take care.